Hi, my name is Nedla. Welcome to my channel Diamond Painting by Ned. Today is a very short video. I would like to show you how I organize my leftover drills. If you follow my channel, you know that I completed this diamond painting 70 by 50 centimeters. I will reframe it. I will make a separate video about my framed um, projects. But I have a lot of leftover drills after. I separated them in the um, Ziploc bags originally. Once I uh, started preparing or setting up for the diamond painting, I usually mm, separate them in um, individual Ziploc bags. This way it's easier for me to store them la later. Unfortunately, I cannot store by DMC codes, by DMC numbers. Why? Well, after diamond painting, I don't know how I many, like 40 uh, projects, I found out that DMC codes differ. Uh, the DMC code can be the same, but the shades are absolutely different. The only um, same ones are white 5200 and black 310. All the rest, it can be, for instance, 647 for one kit, but in a different kit, the same DMC code shade would be absolutely different. And sometimes it is one or two shades darker or lighter. So the same DMC code color physically can be absolutely different. That is why what I do, I organize them by colors. So I got these two containers from Michaels. I think I bought it for $14, maybe even less. One is for square drills. The other one is for um, round drills. The principle for organizing uh, square and round drills is the same. So uh, in the pink, for example, container, go pink and white colors. Since there is no white color, I had to put it somewhere. Uh, the next one is red. Uh, the third one is orange plus beige and brown because there are no beige and brown uh, containers. So over there, I put all leftover drills of that color. Then yellow, green, blue, uh, light blue and gray, dark blue and black, uh, purple. So once I finish diamond painting, I just put leftover drills um, in the related color container. Over here, I put white and uh, all shades of pink in the plastic bags. Here's the orange. I have uh, orange and brown inside. Here's all, uh, all shades of yellow. If I have too many um, and I do not have enough space to at the drills, I use the second container of the same color and purple. So these are only for round drills so that I wouldn't mix them up with the square ones. So my main method is color and shape separation. For instance, I have these four colors left. This will go to green container. This will go to dark blue container. I have um, gray and light blue drills in it and this will go i guess in uh in the orange container because over there i put orange brown and beige i was trying to organize the colors by you know in containers in small containers uh, i was putting dmc codes and then when i tried to add um, the DMC code from a different kit, it turned out to be absolutely different. And this way I was afraid that I will just mix the colors of absolutely different shades. And in the end, you know, I won't even be able to separate them later on in case if I need the leftovers. And I would strongly recommend you to save leftovers. So do not throw them away unless you really have a lot. Because sometimes it happens that you run out of um, one color. Again, if you follow my channel, you remember my <laughs> uh, epic experience with this diamond painting when I ran out of two colors. And thanks to my leftover drills... I was able to retrieve the color uh, that 
I need it, and again, not by DMC codes because they're different, but by um, by the color. So I was just comparing which one is the closest. That's what I originally um, bought for storing leftover drills, and again, it didn't work out. I put the DMC codes, I added a few colors there, but these are the colors only from one kit, because when I was trying to put the colors from a different kit, they turned out absolutely different. Just look at this, 799. Now, look at this one, and look at this. Do you see, like, absolutely different colors? The shade is like... Uh, they're like two shades off, like absolutely different, but it's 799. The DMC code is the same. That's why I do not, um, you know, organize them by DMC codes. Imagine if I mixed it up, if I put this in, inside of that. They wouldn't match at all, absolutely different color. So I would recommend you to, you know, organize your leftover drills by color. Uh, not by DMC codes. So I hope this video was helpful. And by the way, guys, again, if one of you lives in DC area, Angie, if you hear me, please let me know. I will give you this um, organizer for free because I'm not going to use it. Uh, it is much easier for me to uh, keep the leftover drills like this. Again, okay? thank you so much for watching and see you soon.